What's up, guys? Welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. I want to bring to you a little quote from the book, Being Elvis, A Lonely Life by Ray Connolly. I want to share with you a little clip, something that Jackie Gleason told Elvis at dinner just after his first stage show appearance. Elvis was in New York City for the first time in his life. He was actually there a week doing the CBS specials and the RCA recordings. It was a big city for Elvis to be in, especially coming from Memphis. So Elvis had a few days to himself and he was taken out to a local restaurant and Jackie tells him these words here. He says, Elvis, you're going to be a very big star. Here's some advice. Don't hide. Walk the streets. Go to restaurants. But don't hide. Because if you do, you're going to be the loneliest guy in the world. And those words were so true. They were like prophetic. I wish Elvis would have listened to these words and taken his advice. I think that's what Elvis needed. I think that, you know, from what I know about Elvis's personality, he probably politely nodded his head and, you know, with his own best interests, was going to take that advice. But he had no idea how big he was going to be. And even Jackie had no idea how big he was going to be. I think that's what Elvis needed because he got so famous that he did shut himself in. You know, he did become somewhat of a Howard Hughes. I think that if Elvis was able to walk the streets of at least Memphis, his own hometown, be able to mingle with the people, talk to his fans. I mean, I know he did go up to the gate, but I mean, actually go out and do some things, go out to dinner, do things on his own. I think psychologically, it would have been very good for Elvis to unwind, to relax, to be around people. I think being around the Memphis Mafia and his own circle that he had handpicked and his yes men really, you know, hurt him and helped them. It gave him comfort, but it also hurt him. He needed to talk to the fans. And I bring to mind um, that incident where Elvis was in Memphis. I got to look up some of the facts, but I think he was at a uh, clothing store and maybe he was the manager or somebody who got kind of smart with him. Um, I know some of you guys in the comments will be able to answer this for me because it's just coming to my head right now where we see those angry photos of Elvis. I think that Elvis would have been better served to be around the public a little more. And even Muhammad Ali said that he felt sorry for Elvis when he met him and he told Elvis that he needs to go out. He needs to, you know, be around the people like Muhammad Ali was. And I think Muhammad Ali was a good person that Elvis could take advice from. You know, Muhammad Ali rivaled Elvis as far as fame and popularity, but Muhammad Ali, he had a different type of personality, different style. You could argue that Muhammad Ali wasn't as big as Elvis and that Elvis couldn't go out. He would be mobbed. And maybe that were true at first, but I think that if Elvis would have, um, you know, kind of like in LA, people are a little more used to seeing stars. If the people in Memphis were a little more used to seeing Elvis, I think he could have done it. At first, they probably, like I said, would have rushed him. But after a while, I think they all would have got used to it and Elvis could have had what he wanted. But Muhammad Ali gave him some good advice as well. Elvis would have felt more of like a regular person. I mean, yeah, he definitely would be the center of attention. But even Michael Jackson, he couldn't go out. He had to, you know, rent shopping malls and go there privately i think it's a bad thing when uh people are put in a box put in a cage so to speak and just looked at i think that fans need to remember that these people these stars they're really just regular people with a gift or a talent that you know we magnify but these words that jackie gleason gave him when he was 21 years old he just turned 21 because this was january 1956 if he could have found a way to make this happen, I think it would have been great for him.